Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. Unsolicited callers are not generally welcome. Have a nice day. Goodbye. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no. No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but... I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. What? That area is strictly off limits. Can't have people fooling around with the terminal down there. They could shut off power and open the escape door. I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things anymore. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. Oh, no, I'm certainly rather sore about all of that, but certain sacrifices must be made. Besides, Burke assured me that bomb was quite unstable. I asked Burke to suggest they vacate. It was all a matter of time. Think of it as helping speed along the process of natural selection. Don't lose any sleep over it. The ghoul? He's dead. Died 20 years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. So easily? <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? <laughs> I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. <laughs> and it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehave. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself.
Yes? I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Ah, but not everyone has common sense, do they? True happiness flows from respecting those in charge because they have the happiness of the people at heart. For example, I've appointed a committee to discuss this problem with the ghouls trying to get in here. You know anything about ghouls? That's wonderful, comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting, talk to Gustavo. He might be able to help you. Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls, but I think it'll be solved soon enough. Only that they keep generators down there and some kind of emergency escape tunnels. Oh, you know who you should talk to? Comrade Dashwood. He knows this place like the back of his hand. I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Ghouls wouldn't make the best of neighbors, comrade. Well, perhaps you're right, comrade. Some of these folk have a few things to learn about camaraderie, that's for sure. Well, all right. I'm willing to give them a chance. All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Good travels to you, comrade. Be careful. Evening. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you can tell him I said so. Huh. You try being married to my husband for five minutes. I dare you. I'd rather live with those ghouls. Well, okay, not really. But still, did you happen to see any ghouls out there in the wasteland? You know how to kill one? That's terrific. A real man of action. That's just what we need. It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Maybe try talking to Mr. Tenpenny or Chief Gustavo. They're probably the ones who would know. living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? I don't know. I mean, they're all deformed and scary looking. I bet they're really mean too. Well, you seem like you know what you're talking about. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. I might not spend much time with them. If they do anything stupid, I'm sure they'll get kicked out. Fine. It's okay. I guess so. Oh, all right. See you.
Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Hmm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. Yeah. Supposedly, there's some kind of emergency access to the metro tunnels. It'd have to be a pretty big emergency to get me down there, that's for sure. There's all kinds of gross things that live in those tunnels. Talk to Chief Gustavo if you want to know more. I think he's the only one that has a key. Are you going to do something about the problem or not? I've come too far to share my digs with some droopy ghoul. Well, if you don't mind their stink, then you should go squat with them in their dirty tunnels and leave us civilized people alone. There's no way they'd agree to letting ghouls live here. We all came here to get away from things like ghouls and disease and all that ugliness. Yeah, goodbye. Edgar Wellington II. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on. Who let you in here? There's no need to get snippy with me, boy. We're all a little perturbed on account of those ghouls. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. It's the place to live, the only place one finds any modicum of civilization and breeding. Of course those ghouls are trying to move in here. Can you fancy that? Disgusting zombies living in a place like this? <laughs> really now? Why would I ever go to the basement, talk to Gustavo about such nonsense? There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, loathsome creatures. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. Don't care. The only way those ghouls are getting in is over my dead body. Farewell. Hello, dear. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? That doesn't surprise me. You should talk to Gustavo. He might be able to use someone like you. 
things haven't been the same since those ghouls showed up has everyone on edge. What do you take me for? Some greasy engineer? All I know is that's where they make the electricity. Why don't you go bother Gustavo? I'm sure he can handle whatever it is you need in the basement. Yes? You wish to speak to me? Whatever for. Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls living here? With us? That's simply out of the question. Ha! I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the waists. You are simply mistaken. They may appear nice, but deep down, they want to kill. It's common knowledge among the educated. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Ha! I know everything about my neighbors. Some things they don't even know themselves. I'm certain that they won't agree to this ridiculous idea. And even if they did, I certainly won't. Oh my God, this can't be real, but it's in his handwriting. Oh my God, he's dead. I'll kill him and her. They're both dead. This isn't happening. This isn't real. You broke your sacred promise. What are you talking about, dears? Is everything all right? Let me remind you till death do us part. Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? You've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. 
Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We'd been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Aha! Uh -huh. So you've been exploring the tower. Well done. Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here. And to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck. Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine. But you better not get caught with that. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Well, I wouldn't mind, but they'd better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. Like I said, it's fine by me. Of course. I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. Don't forget to have a little fun out there. Hey. Hey there. Those clothes are atrocious. You should stop by my shop, new urban apparel, and freshen up that look. Upgrade to fabulous. Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. And you can thank me for that. I'm the resident guide to all things fabulous. And I'll tell you what isn't ever in style, disgusting ghouls getting their rotting paws all over everything. That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed, he hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. It's my turn, eh? Well, you won't be getting me to go along with your ridiculous plan. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. 
You're out of your right freaking mind. If my neighbors lose their minds and agree to such a thing, then I hope security shoots them in the head with their zombie friends. Ta-ta. Yes? I'm off duty. Come back when... Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. Tenpenny is very selective about who he allows to live here. The correct genes and living conditions make for a relatively disease-free environment. Clean water is still a concern, of course. But we've got enough chems to keep the radiation sickness at bay. That's why he won't allow those ghouls to live here. Why introduce a weakness into a healthy system? Well, um, I guess I must confess, I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Wait, don't tell him I said that. My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer. The proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. They can't be cured, and there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. I knew it was only a matter of time before you asked me about that. I've decided I want to do my own study of ghoul physiology. Who knows? I could even publish my findings. Sure, no problem. Try not to break anything important. I am Lydia Montenegro. I'm sure you've heard of me in my shop, Boutique Le Chic. No? Obviously, you don't travel in the right circles. I can't talk now. Visit me at the boutique during business hours. This better not be a waste of my time. Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. Indeed, though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it, and he's hired security to keep us safe but they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? What? Have you lost your mind? He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd try me. You may be able to coerce the others, but I'm not such a pushover. Your zombie buddies will need to find someplace else to live. Then my neighbors will have lost their minds, just like you have. Now go away. Until next we meet. Hello. Your new 
around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Café Beaumont. Stop by sometime. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Indeed, everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Now I feel a little ashamed. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Oh, I know you've been lobbying for those ghouls, and I've already been thinking it over. I guess I would be willing to give it a try. I guess so, sure. Bon appetit! Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or, at least, that's what my files say. Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Don't have any data in my files about that. Hello? Ah, that's it. Tenpenny promised me safety and security. And that damn useless Gustavo lets thieves run amok. This is the last straw. I'm leaving. Oh, I can't. 
can't believe it. With all of Gustavo's goons running around, they still let thieves come into my store and take things. I thought I was safe here. That's it. I'm leaving. I'll try my luck elsewhere. You better not cause any more trouble. A very special welcome to you, sir. And what will our most distinguished guest be having today? Just call me if cheers. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Really? Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. Well, it's a great place to live, if you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. We haven't discussed this already? Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Look around. What else is there to do? I know you. You're that guy. You know, the one that... whatever. I know you've been talking to the others about the ghouls, and I've been mulling the whole thing over a few cocktails. Well, more than a few. And I've decided that I'd be willing to give it a go. Having ghoul neighbors, I mean. What the hell? Sure. Cheers! Hey. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot him in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. You mercenaries are so reliably predictable. 100 now, 200 when the job is done. You have a curious look about you, I... Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your troubles.
you take care of those ghouls yet? Like I tell my men, don't bother reporting in unless it's to tell me you got the job done. Look, kid, I don't care what you think about them. Unless Tenpenny says otherwise, they aren't allowed in here. End of story. Quit wasting my time. You mean the generator room? What the hell do you need to know about that for? That area is strictly off limits. There's an emergency entrance to the tunnels. You know, for when the bombs fell. We siphon power from the metro grid to keep our generators running. I've got the only key, and I ain't lending it to you. I lost it once and had to make a new one. Tenpenny practically bit my head off, so forget it. You stay away from the generator room. Watch your back, and don't trust that Roar Phillips for a second. Hey there. What's the word of Tenpenny, kid? I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the ferals and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. Yeah, best get on your way. Don't know how you did it. I'd never allow those zombies room and board. But as long as Tenpenny keeps paying me, I'll stay. Watch yourself. Hey, kid. I was wrong about you. Good job. It's weird, actually. I used to vacation here before the bombs dropped. Used to be a resort for the wealthy and powerful. I never thought I'd be the one fighting to get in here. Guess way back it used to be a plantation. Ironic, isn't it? Go live your life, kid. Hello there, can't thank you enough. It's wonderful, Roy was right. This is the way to live. Be good. Haha, <laughs> hey there, bud. Thanks again for helping us get in here. Beats the wasteland and thirty tunnels, that's for damn sure. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. Give them hell. Yes, what is it? Very well. And I shall follow. <laughs> 